Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And while foraging in Valencia, I found the Calle de Cavanies. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Here the native language is, uh, well, Valencian is a dialect of Catalan, so it's something between Spanish, French, and a bit of Italian. Everything to me sounds kind of French here. Well, this is Calle de Cavanies. It's running parallel to the Jardin Sterial, maybe the, one of the fanciest parks in Valencia. And it has an unusual big number of uh, date palms, even for Spanish standards. And all of them, as far as I can see, are the Arabian date. Usually throughout the Mediterranean and the Canary Islands and other subtropical areas, um, the dominant ornamental palm trees, the Canary Island date palm. It's adapted, okay, let's not get run over. It's adapted to a big variety of climates, even more than the, than the Arabian date palm. But here the Arabs introduced the date palm as a fruit tree over a thousand years ago. And that's where like 95% of the date palms in Valencia actually Arabian date palms. Unfortunately, they are not in season because, yeah, this was really a fruit tree and is still a fruit tree. The last uh, area of large scale commercial production of dates in Europe is the not so far away city of Elche. So, yes, I'm sure those are producing a lot of nice fruits. But now in April they are not in season. There's also a couple of other interesting things here, an avocado tree, some huge European dwarf palms, six meters tall, some of them even maybe above six meters. The tallest here should be, well, first, second, it's reaching the third floor, or if you count the ground floor, well, ground floor number one, then first floor, second floor, it's almost three floors high, which is very high for the uh, for the European dwarf palm. Here we have a giant a giant Peruvian apple cactus, which is also reaching the third floor, however you want to count it. Couple hidden bananas in the background. Orinoco bananas, they do fruit around here. Yeah, sometimes you can find quite interesting stuff in hidden courtyards around here. The park is quite nice, but not a dedicated rare fruit collection. But this road, this uh, city street, I really like it. I don't know how many hundreds of palms are here. On the left side there is one row, but on the right side there are two rows of them, which makes this even more impressive. Maybe they are even more impressive date palm fringe streets in the city. I don't know. This one made a big impression on me. Tell me if you like it. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos, hopefully with fruit tasting, from the beautiful and quite fruit-rich city of Valencia in Spain. But if you want to receive more such content, don't just subscribe to my channel, press the little bell icon, because otherwise YouTube might not want to recommend my videos to you.